welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Okay, we're supposed to do the top five, and I've done sort of part one, part two, and this is a part three of it. I know I'm sort of cheated a little bit, but I've sort of done top five in each sort of section. As you can see, I've got quite a range of indie decks. Now, just because I'm going to pull out five, it doesn't mean that I don't love the others as well, because they do different things. So it's just a little bit tricky, but I sort of wanted to um, look at decks in different ways. Okay, so what I'm going to start with first is, oh, this is so, so tricky. So, so tricky with the independent. Now. Oops. Now, oops, I forgot to pull out the Rider Waite Smith, which I want to pull out from uh, the Waterfall Tarot by um, Tarot Oracle. Okay, so that's what I'm going to pull out first. I'm going to look at my sort of Rider Waite Smith indie decks, right? Or, you know, that sort of theme thing. So I've got Tarot Oracles 1. And I'm going to do this as sort of one. And I've got Moon Baby, which is based on Hoi Poloi, which I, but done with the own colorway. Now, he, um, Brent did do different colorways, and he did do a different, a, a second edition, which is also slightly different in the colorways, but that's this one here. So very right away, Smith, Hoi Poloi. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, based on Rider Waite Smith. Okay, so now we've got another one I want to do is the um, Serafina's Modern Tarot, which I think is really a really cool little deck here. Let me pull these to one side. Okay, so we've got the Waterfall and Moon Baby. Right, and we've got Serafina's Modern Tarot. Arrow, which I think is really well done in that she sort of put your elements on it, your zodiac, so, um, your zodiac sign, um, your card, whether it's spades, clubs, that's got your elements. It's got a lot of aspects to it, which I think is really cool. Your numerology, there's a lot of little information at the bottom of the deck, on the bottom of the cards, which you can use in your readings if that's something that you want to do. Um, absolutely cool little modern um, Rider Waite Smith type of deck in her own way. And I think it was really, really well done. Absolutely love that indeed. Okay, another deck that I sort of want to include in that sort of is the um, Coffee Tarot. A very modern but earthy titles are quite different this is one of my favorites I mean how can you say just five five decks so what I've done is I've just pulled out all my indie ones my indie tarot decks and just included them all here because I think they're absolutely awesome in many ways but already if I was just doing that this is the four basically and so it does have the element cards in there as well as you can see the um it's earth air fire and water which i think is really cool um major arcana is quite different now i actually saw this from creation and so i think it's this is the a really cool deck i know it seems a little bit larger in its size of course the grand um, but I love it. I absolutely love this. Beautiful deck. Beautiful, beautiful deck and totally recommend it. Coffee Tarot by Janet Boyer. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I do want to bring in a Tarot de Marseille style of deck. Very, very different um, with the suits, of course. And this is an Argentinian 
Tarot del Tango. Okay, so the artwork is related to um, sort of dance video, uh, dance paintings, paintings related to Argentinian, um, really, really cool um, artists, really cool, and they're all related to um, dance in some way, really, really cool, and um, of course the um, court, let's pull out, let's put these away, okay, you've got your court cards, like here, uh, the queen, so you've got your page, your knight, uh, your king, your queen. Oops. Oh, and your knight, there's your knight there. So your page, your king, your queen, and then there's the knight there. Um, you've got your cups, you've got all your chalices, you've got your lamps. Um... And the arrow, which is like an accordion type thing, and then the knights, uh, the these for your uh, swords. So really cool. Yeah, that was a Kickstarter. Most of these, a lot of these were kicks, uh, like the um, Hoi Polloi one, the Waterfall Tarot, uh, the Moon Baby one, the Waterfall Tarot were all. Um, and this is all Kickstarters, and then you've got the um, oh, the gifts were the t coffee tarot and this one here. They were actually gifts given to me. So really, really cool in regards to that. So let's do some little extras that I'm going to do here that I've liked, that I really, really love. Okay, first one is the Meraki tarot. Now there is a second and third edition. Um, I was given the third edition, which is borderless, also um, as a gift, but this one I got as Kickstarter. This is an animal and um, an animal deck, crystals as well, animals and crystals, which I think is absolutely stunning, the artwork. It's a beautiful deck, feels very rubbery, like a sort of a very um, rubbery, sort of a really nice feeling deck. Um, it's not something that can be shuffled easily. I don't think it shuffles easily, but I think it comes with time. The more I shuffle it, the easier it becomes. Ooh, I say pulling out the three of swords. Oh, what heartbreak. <laughs> what challenges have I had in regards to the heartbreak? I think the heartbreak is not being able to share. Now, this actually didn't, um, does have a guidebook, but the separate from that. Okay. So that was the Meraki Tarot. Now, this was given to me as a gift, the Four Huxa Tarot. Now, MJ Kulian as an independent deck, but I know that it, um, the Enchanted Four Huxa is the mass market. So this I love as well. This was given to me as a gift. As you can see, I just want to show you very quickly the card so we're not spending all day on this video because even though I just wanted to show my, um, I was going to do sort of like my top, the top five independent decks, but they're all so beautiful. I can't and they move with my moods. Okay, I do have a, um, a Maori deity one too, which is just a major arcana. But in my New Zealand decks, I do have the um, Maori Tattoo Tarot, okay? And I do have, um, that's from the website, okay? Ro uh, Roxanne Paul's website. And then um, I do have the New Zealand Naturally, which is a flora and fauna, and um, plants, sorry, plants and fauna. Or part, plants and flora, however you like to say it. Um, New Zealand animals, basically. New Zealand animals. And of course it's got waves as water, uh, trees as... Um, tr trees as wands, peaks as air or um, swords and coins for um, pentacles. 
and then of course you've got your major arcana and they do have a couple of extra cards chaos and weird so quite cool so that's a cool little um new zealand deck now from um tarot oracle who did the waterfall tarot there's also the um tasty tarot which is the um food food and animals in some way some food some animals which i think and of course some people cards as well a flown in there so really really cool um deck Here is a couple of cards that have got Kiwis on them and that, which is kind of cool. We've got one with Dr. Mystical with the ice cream, and there's ones with different... Oh, there's Bart's one, which I love. Which is kind of cool. They are really neat um, cards. want to see where the kiwi fruit one is it's a wild kiwi fruit and there's a kiwi fruit in the car there Eight of Pentacles, which I think is kind of cool. So yeah, cool little deck. Love it, love it, love it. From Tarot Oracle as an indie deck. Okay, so how are we doing? Quite a few. So you can see I've had a bit of a collection. I mean, there's some beautiful decks out there. The artists, I mean, I would love to spend so much more. There's so many amazing indie decks out there, but I really had to, being in New Zealand... Um, with the prices and things they are now with shipping, I've really had to limit what I buy in regards to indie decks. Okay, so I'm going to do this New Zealand artist one in a minute. Another one is Telerik. Now this is crystals and plants. Beautifully done, very, very different, uh, different suits, different um, the way it's set up. It's got its own unique system in many ways. Um, but again, with the same similar with the similar meanings and things, it's just about using it the way you want, what works for you. It is a deck that you have to dive into a little bit, and one that I have to keep going back and doing a little bit more study with at times, depending, of course, on my mood. So beautifully done, crystals and plants set up quite differently in its suits and in its um, the way it's set up. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Whew. I'm trying to do this quite quickly so we're not, so you're not all day watching a video. Okay. So this, um, now, Bobby Alexander does a great range of sort of pop culture type, pulp culture, not pop, pulp, P-U-L-P, pulp culture, which is like um, some really cool, um, horror, retro, um, tarot decks, decks that are related to World War II, um, with vintage, that vintage feel to it. There's some really cool decks that he does on Kickstarter. They're always really reasonable, even with delivery and things. He's absolutely brilliant. But I've actually got the Japanese, the vintage Japanese one. Now, again, he uses art to create the cards art that's already been produced it's you know um, vintage art uh, retro art that sort of thing and sort of brings it into the tarot deck so he sort of looks around at the images and thinks here yeah, that'll go with such and such that'll go with that thing 
without actually looking at the deck, without looking at the title and going, okay, now I've got to create a piece of art. It's the art already being created and he's just putting in the titles and things to it. So quite unique, quite different. Um, sometimes, of course, it doesn't really show. It's not a traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery or anything like that, but you definitely get um, a really great um, reading from it. I love this um, vintage Japanese. So quite different, quite unique. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now I've got a few independent decks from this creator. Okay, and this is Christoph James. Okay, so I've got a couple of his oracles as well, but let's just do, we've got the um, Rain Coast, which I got first, but just in the pocket size. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit dark here, so I'm going to be running out of light. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. So just so that you can see. So sort of a little bit of a horror um, tarot deck. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love So you can sort of see. Okay, so that's a little pocket. There are larger, he's had larger sizes in that one as well. Okay, now, so I bought that straight off his website. And then we've got, um, we've got the Crowley and rain coast and he does he has done kickstarters and things like that but also bought from i think they're just absolutely awesome this is the crowley one beautiful artwork beautifully done really clever in the way that he's done this really really cool love it love this deck Love the colours, love the, um, now I think there are some variations in this deck, but absolutely love this. Okay, so I'm just going to show you very, very quickly. So go and have a look at Rain Coast Tarot. Go and have a look at Christoph's website. That's the only way to order them. They do come boxed, beautifully boxed or um or tinned, depending on what the deck is. So this other one here is Rain Coast Visions. And he always signs his um, decks as well. You will find a card with um, a signature and things on them too in his decks. So yeah, this is um, now slightly different as you can see by its rods instead of wands. There are keywords up the top here for the cards which I think is quite cool. So if you want to read, if you want one of Christoph's decks, but you're not, you, you don't really understand all, maybe all the keywords or things like that, this is a great deck. This is a great deck with um, the keywords and that on there. It really just sort of jump starts your learning if you get into a blank moment, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, the last deck I'm going to include here. Now I do have another one of hers, um, which is called Common Thread, which is quite cool. But I want to include the Elder Stories here. This is based on sort of the um, mature characters, if you like, pensioners or mature characters, which have a bit of fun in life. It's all reminding us to have fun as we grow older. So yeah, really cool deck. Cool artistry. I've got some of her Oracle decks, which I absolutely love. And I again, I've just had to sort of put a little bit of hold on um, some of these because you end up um, spending a little bit more in shipping and things like, well, not necessarily shipping, but just New Zealand print. Just It is just a little bit more on my end, top end of my budget. So something I have to save for. Okay, so that's it for independent decks i just wanted to sort of share i couldn't i couldn't do the top five independent decks so it's sort of a bit of all my independent decks at this time basically okay as it's getting dark it's time for me to finish up so don't forget to check the links down below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video is uploaded a big thank you to everyone who subscribed big thank you to those that have liked the videos shared them made a comment below, checked out my Ko-Fi, etc. 
in my blog the links down below so anyway that's it from me take care and bye <laughs>